Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another home project for you. Today we're actually ripping out tile out of my bathroom and we are gonna be replacing it with vinyl plank. Here's the backstory. I already did this once. Well, not really, I put the tile in. So when we moved into this house, this bathroom was kind of out of date and uh, we decided to remodel it. And I decided to put tile in here when we remodeled it. I don't like the tile and I don't like how I installed it. I did a really bad job. I've done tile before and I'm not bad at it, but this was the worst job I've ever done. And it's because I rushed it because I really didn't feel like doing it at the time. I was sick. And instead of redoing the tile, I'd rather just rip it all out, start fresh and just put vinyl plank in, call it good. And I'm gonna be using the same vinyl plank that you see here on this floor that is in the rest of my house. It is by Shaw Flooring. And I got some extra in the garage that I'm gonna be using for that. So this is gonna hopefully just be a one day project. First, we're gonna start by taking out the vanity and the toilet and possibly the baseboard and maybe even the doors, probably. Let's not forget, I also haven't installed the shower head since I redid this bath though. This is my daughter's bathroom. It's where we give her her baths. And I replaced all this stuff except for the drains and everything, which I have, I just haven't done it. And I gotta put the shower arm on here, but I couldn't find the black one. So I decided uh, to put it off um, today. I think I'm just gonna take some black spray paint and spray that thing and just call it good. So we're gonna start by taking this vanity out. Look how disgusting it is in here. Look at my cats laying under here. We're ready to lift this off the flange. But I'm going to put this toilet inside of a garbage bag, that way I can move it out of the room and not get nasty wax from the toilet ring all around the house. So. It's time to destroy this tile and get rid of it after all. It's time to destroy this tile and get rid of it once and for all. It's time to obliterate this tile and get rid of it once and for all. I'm tired of this stupid tile. Let's get it out of here. It's demo time. It's demo time, baby. We're gonna get rid of this tile. <laughs> Let's get this tile out of here. You with me? I wanna kill this tile. Am I even recording? Yeah, I am, okay. It's time to get rid of this tile once and for all. Put your safety glasses on, kid.
Yeah, so I got all that hardy back her out and I got this wax ring up and this extra flange. I had built this flange up previously to match the height of the tile. Now I'm taking this back off and I'm gonna have to buy a new wax ring. And uh, this flange seems to be in okay condition. Yep, we're good, so let's move on with the project. This project has already turned into a much bigger project than I wanted it to be. When I was tearing out the baseboard, I forgot that I had brought the wallpaper down to the baseboard and cut it flush with that. And why is that bad? Because the baseboard is going to be going lower now because vinyl plank is a lot thinner than that hardy backer plus the 3 8 tile on top of that. So that's not good. I don't have extra wallpaper. I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. I might have to just go with a taller baseboard or just for this wall or maybe all around. I mean, I'm going to have to redo the baseboard anyways. Um, and then over here, same thing, tore up the wall because I didn't kept the caulking back enough. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but uh, I'm going to have to figure it out. <sighs> These things that you think are just going to be a quick, easy project, they never are. I'm mad. I'm the angry carpenter today. Okay, so here we can actually see the flooring going into here is actually the same height right now but that's a problem because in order to go into here seamlessly this actually needs to come out there is actually if you look over here by the minute you can see we have the original plywood down here and then we have a thin eighth inch sheet of Luan on top of that and then there is the linoleum on top of that so the correct thing to do would be to rip out all this linoleum and the luon that it's attached to as well. I'm actually just going to do the easy thing. Believe it or not, I'm just going to go ahead and do the floor in here and have it come up to here. And then I actually have a transition strip left over and I'm just going to put a normal transition strip there. Transition strip there and call it good. Um, obviously, it's not going to be as seamless of a look now but I really don't think it's gonna matter. I think it's gonna look just fine. Here's another reason I don't wanna do that because I'm afraid if I take that Luan out, I'm going to have to cut this toilet flange off and move it down about an eighth inch. And I really don't wanna do that. I'd rather just leave the toilet flange where it is and call it good. So that's what we're gonna do. There's a lot more to it than there needs to be, but we're gonna do this right. We gotta do it right every time, right? Okay, we're about to start installing the floor here. Here I have uh, Matrix by Shaw Flooring. Oh man, that is a heavy pop. Ooh, they sure don't look that heavy. Always make sure when you're installing this stuff, you got a very sharp blade. If your blade is dull, start with a fresh blade when you're doing a flooring project like this. And this is how I cut my flooring, believe it or not. This and a speed square, that's all you actually need.
right guys, flooring's installed. See, we just need to put our transition strip there, put on the baseboard, mount the toilet, put the vanity back in, put that vent back in. The doors are back in now. I went ahead and took those off while I was installing it just to make it easier for myself. And uh, now I am gonna have to make a run to get a new wax ring for the toilet and new baseboard. Um, possibly a new angle stop for that as well. La, 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 la. I think that's it. So my wife decided that we needed to take this wallpaper off too and paint this wall. And actually paint all the walls. And, um, Added a lot more time to this project. Oh, and where's she at? There she is. fix a lot of the drywall imperfections oh man they got a little bead there yeah and then we're gonna have to prime these areas obviously where the drywall was torn but anybody that actually personally knows me knows that i hate painting but i'm good at it so moral of the story here is if you hate doing something don't get good at it because you're gonna be expected to do it all the time let's go ahead i just said i'm good at painting and i spilled paint all over my kitchen floor <laughs> So I got this wall patched, I got sanded, and I got a little bit of primer on there um, and the spots that really need it. And uh, so now what we gotta do is wait for that to dry so that we can start painting this wall. But before we could even do that, I would like to caulk these corners since this color here that I just painted is gonna be a different color than this accent wall here. I'm going to run a bead of caulk down the corner here. Uh, for two reasons. One, to kind of break it up and make it easier to paint. And two, because if you look close, there's a lot of damage in the corner here where I had to make cuts to get the drywall off. So I'm going to put a bead of caulk just on the two corners. And then once that dries, we're going to paint. It is now day two of this one day bathroom remodel. Yep, that's right. Something that was supposed to take a couple hours turned into a whole day, two days. So yeah, I just, I couldn't work anymore last night. I was too, too beat from not really having a break all day, just continuously working and trying to get that bathroom done. But it is what it is so today i'm gonna try to actually get in there and get this done <clears throat> what we did accomplish yesterday though is we got all that tile out of there like i wanted put new flooring in 
And we also painted the walls, got that old wallpaper out of there, which that wallpaper is not old. I put that up literally. I installed that wallpaper in March of 2022. And as I'm sitting here filming this, it is currently January 3rd of 2023. That is not an old wallpaper. It's not even a year old. Um, and I love that wallpaper, but it was a little messed up. I can show you a picture here. You could see um, when I was doing it, I accidentally didn't line up two of the rolls and uh, it just doesn't look even. Um, that's the only spot though, but it's enough to bother her. So it bothers me too. And I'm just, uh, I guess she's just happy to get that out of there. And we decided to just go with an accent wall. I think eventually we're gonna do something different with that wall. She wants, to do, she wants that Chevron look still, but she wants, you know, actual wood or tile or something. But in the meantime, that's what we're doing. So, but first thing I'm gonna do is put that light fixture back on so we have some light in there. I took it off so I can paint around it and not have to worry about putting paint on it. And then we're gonna work on the baseboard, which might be a little bit of a challenge. Um, and you'll see why here in a minute. The real challenge here is gonna be getting the, uh, Once we have the baseboard in though, we can slide that vanity back in and reset the toilet. And uh, well, we'd have to paint the baseboard first before we get any of that. Um, that's pretty much it actually. I don't think about it, there really isn't much more than that to do. Um, it's just a matter of doing it. So I got this piece cut over here. You can see here why I was wanting to redo the base where I didn't want to have to try to fix all that. So when I measured this, this is flush. Um, when I measured this, this is pretty plumb. But over here, the bathtub actually cants in a little bit towards the top. So I had to take a measurement at the bottom and a measurement at the top of where the piece would be and then cut a slight gradual angle on this side so that it'll sit nice against the tub. See, it sits nice there. And you got a pretty even gap over here that's going to be filled in with caulk. But before that, if I would have left this a straight 90 degree cut, this would have been way out over here and it looked bad. And you can see here, the wall concaves a little bit. Again, nothing a little bit of caulk can't fix, but you know, this bathroom is a little wonky. We're working for what we got, right? So, so you got that chamfer there that's going to get painted. Okay, we got this in, and now you can see what I mean. I'm gonna measure from there to there and make that cut and not behind there because as you can see under there, that's never gonna be seen unless you actually are laying on the floor, which if you're laying on the floor in the bathroom, you're probably drunk or crazy. So because we got this uh, valve here, I'm going to have to measure out and I'm gonna have to cut a hole through that and it's gonna come, I'm gonna have to take this angle stop off and we're gonna have to shove it through and then put everything back on and we'll be good. For this next part, we're gonna to wanna to turn off our water. You'll see why here in a minute. I'm discharging the built up pressure in the pipe, whatever's left in there residually, into the drain here so that we don't have an explosion on our hands of water. Even though the water's off, there's still built up pressure 
You just gotta release that. Valve is open and there's nothing coming out, so we're good. I actually have a special tool for this. You don't need this, but I like it. You take this, you take this part, take this part, you stick it in here to hold it still. You take your wrench and you get that nice and loose there. All right, we're gonna have to cut this back a little bit. Not too much though. Okay. I'll take this sandpaper and clean up this copper. It's real old, so we want to make it look new. Alright, shine that up a little bit. See, it looks brand new. Beautiful. Trees. Turn the water back on. Oh shit. Oh, okay, I had the sink on. Oh my god. I turned the water on and I heard spraying. Whew. And I thought that something I did was wrong. And I turned it off. I went and looked. I'm like, I don't see any more water than was here before. The sink. Let's try that again. Okay, I don't see nothing. We're gonna slowly turn this on to make sure. It's... No leaks. Hey, we're good. Okay guys, so I gotta go get a flange for that and I gotta get an outlet for there because that is still an old dingy one. I'm gonna put a nice new white one in. Also, I just wanna mention, this is what I use to fill in my nail holes on my baseboard if it's a paint grade product. Okay, we got our baseboard painted and dry. We're gonna go ahead and put our flange on here. I got this thing. This is technically meant for ceilings and floors, but I'm gonna use this for wall today. Since I already put this angle stop on and I don't wanna have to Take it back off. I'm just gonna slide this over it and I'm gonna put it in with a couple of these short screws. That way I don't go through the baseboard and into the wall and possibly hit a pipe. Okie dokie, looking good. Looks finished. Right, guys we got the vanity back in got this mirror up got the light fixture in toilet in everything's looking fresh got a bead of silicone across there that's white right now but it's gonna dry clear i'm gonna have to put the shower curtain back up later i will have to put the shower arm back on that's being painted out in the shop right now and uh this paint job is actually looking real nice i love this accent wall color i love the way that turned out um, but yeah, other than that, we're pretty much done. I'm waiting on my wife to put anything back up on the wall other than the mirror. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty complete here, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and following me on Facebook at JP Solutions. A few last words, this was a pretty fun project, not gonna lie. It turned out a lot better than I ever expected it to. 
I knew I should have known it was going to turn into a bigger project than it was, but, but hey, it's done now and everybody's happy. So glad you guys enjoyed it and you made it this far. Make sure you subscribe. I mean it. If you made it this far, you at least owe me that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>